Good morning, my name is Jacob Zatiris and welcome to a day in the life of a car salesperson. I should probably mention at this point, I think this is part four. I think I've done three others. This is part four, day in the life. feeling that you really don't want to get out of the car. That's exactly what I'm feeling right now. Um, I know I've got to go and unlock that door. I know I'm the only one in. So I'm going to have to unlock that door. But it's hammering it down with rain. And I'm going to ruin this horrendous hair. Right, let's go. Let's go. I got the wrong key. Which key is it? And we are in. I feel like it's been ages since I've done one of these. Um, so, welcome to Quantum Volvo. <laughs> it's always a bit eerily quiet when you're in on your own. Your first one in. Oh, I'm the only one in today, actually. Um, but yeah, basically, I'm just going to show you around kind of what I'm going to do for the day. Usual bits, car sales stuff. Um, hopefully, people will find it relatable. Some people might go, that's absolutely not what I do. Then we're a bit different. But uh, it'd be interesting to see what, what you guys do. Um, what we do similar, what we don't do similar. If you're thinking of coming into the trade, we'll hopefully give you a bit of an idea of what it's like. Because it's not a scary, horrible place, which I thought it was before I joined. It's actually... Um, yeah, great, great industry to work in, so. Going to unlock the dealerships and I forgot the bloody keys for the front door. Take two, I think. I think I have the keys. Oh, I know where the keys are. So we've had a tiny bit of an issue with our front door, some kind of fuse or something um, broke. So actually, we're now having to, as you can see, the little arrow there, go across. How nice is this? I'm just saying. Is that a beast? Or is that a beast? Right, let's go and unlock the front door. Hello? Customers? Where are, where are you? Is anyone, you wanna, you wanna buy a car? Anyone out, no? No, uh, we're probably still in bed, right? I'll um, get on with some, um, so, let's actually structure the day. I'm not usually just mumbling around with the camera being silly. So, um, maybe I'm a bit. So I'm gonna make sure showroom's looking good whilst it's quiet. Um, kind of the kiddie area, all stuff like that. Forecourt we did yesterday, so forecourt's fully organized and looking pretty. That's fine. So get into some of my emails, just see if any customers have come back. I think I've probably got, got a few people on the go, so hopefully, um, that have some positive emails coming back with wanting to put deposit down on cars and then just hop into my CRM system, see who's around, see who hasn't got back to me and basically just follow some people up. So, I was just doing some follow-up stuff you probably saw in the clip before. And some customers came in, which is nice on a Sunday with um, super loads of rain. Super nice couple, and I've just said super about four times. They have booked in for a test drive tomorrow on an XC40. Didn't want to drive today, where there's a bit of pants, and um, they've got a few other places to go, which is fair enough. They're not spending a small amount of money, so it's, it, I'm not a pressury type person. I don't think we should be in sales. It's, it's long gone are the days of pressuring someone into buying a car. They're so informed now. And there's so many ways, it's just treating people right, treating them um, in a friendly way, in a fun way, and in a respectable way, and they had others to look at. So I took down the details, we have booked them in for a test drive tomorrow, they seem really keen. They said a few bad things about some other garages, so I didn't encourage that, alright, but um, it's always nice to hear. 
because it means we've got a place to, to slide in because we do it properly and that's the way it should be done. Um, but yeah, so booked in tomorrow, test drive, brilliant. It's gonna be a, a finance, got all the details for that. So we will wait and see and have a fun test drive tomorrow. I would also like to add, <laughs> do you like that? Is that good? Um, that it's still horrible outside. So I'm gonna get back now the customer's gone. Get back, I was about to make a phone call, sent a few emails, so, excuse me. Um, yeah, no, it's nothing crazy going on today. So uh, hopefully this isn't the most boring day in the life ever, but sometimes it's not all about driving around in fast cars and looking baller all the time. It's about doing the work. And we are in March, it's a big plate change with the coronavirus rife at the minute, we know inevitably things are gonna slow down, so we've gotta make the most of every single opportunity that we get, so it's gonna be a graft, it's gonna be a grind, but that's what we've gotta do. So, a bit of pressure on ourselves, get ourselves out of that comfort zone of going, oh, it's quiet, let's relax. No, it's just gonna be a bit less drivey, drivey fun stuff, and a bit more grindy, grindy computer stuff. Do you know what we need? I know what we need. Music! Um, think, 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 think. Uh, I'm gonna find a way to get some music on in here. So. <laughs> You know, sometimes you dance the bad weather away. So, it actually, today got quite busy. Sorry, I can't really document everything. Let's hop in a car. Um, so I can't really document everything throughout the day because speaking to customers, I can't exactly go, can I put a camera in your face? But um, yeah, hopefully it gave you a bit of an insight. This is a very short version of a day in life, but it's been a horrible, horrible, miserable day and not many people around. It got a little bit busy, but nothing too exciting extremely interesting um, so hopefully you've enjoyed it's given you a bit of fun if if nothing else you got to see me dance so if ever you are, uh, invite me out on a night out one I will say yes and two that's what you'll see never really know how to end these things but um, thanks for wasting your time you really had nothing to do did you you've just watched this <laughs> but yeah well welcome to the motor industry whatever element you are in it's a fun, interesting, quirky place and you can be yourself. So hopefully you've enjoyed, hopefully you've got something out of this video. You probably haven't, but I will catch you in another video. Bye.